This episode is sponsored by Rachel Ray Nutrish, natural food for cats. Hey guys, I'm Alex Farnham and this is Animalist News. Now cats have captured the hearts of millions with their cute looks and quirky disposition. For example, did you know that a cat's collarbone isn't connected to any other bones? By being buried under shoulder muscles, their essentially useless collarbone allows them to squeeze through any opening that's the size of their head. Now it's no wonder that there's 4.5 million kitten videos on the internet, but you may be surprised that a place built for a mouse is home to over 200 cats. That's right, after tiny princesses and pirates have gone home with their parents, the Disneyland feral cats come out to play. No one knows how or why these cats showed up, but park officials decided to hire them in 1955. One thing's for sure, you won't see a mouse on your vacation. Well, unless it's Mickey or Minnie, of course. Nowadays, these corporate fat cats stay in five permanent feeding stations behind the scenes where they are spayed, neutered, and taken care of. Now, President Lincoln was loved for a lot of things, his honesty, his fairness, the abolishment of slavery, but very few realized that he was also a true animal lover. In fact, he specifically loved cats so much that his Secretary of State bought him two kittens as a gift and he became the first president to bring a cat into the White House. Later on, during a visit to the General Grant's headquarters, Lincoln found three abandoned kittens which he took care of and found homes for. Unfortunately, his wife, Mary Todd, did not share in the passion. Once while the former president was feeding his pet cat named Tabby, she scolded him for using a gold fork. He then replied, if a gold fork was good enough for former President Buchanan, it's good enough for Tabby. But Lincoln isn't the only famous cat lover. People who remember Isaac Newton as the creator of the reflecting telescope and calculus are totally missing out on his greatest invention of all, the cat door. Although Newton never married, he found companionship with his cats. So much so that in order to keep them from scratching at his office door, he ordered a carpenter to saw holes into the wall so they could come in and go out as they please. Booyah! The greatest invention was born. Now, why do you guys think people are so crazy for cats? Let me know in the comments below. And before I let you guys go, I'd like to thank our sponsor, New Rachel Ray Nutrish, natural food for cats. Now, real meat is the number one ingredient and there are never any junk like meat products, artificial flavors, or preservatives. Just simple, wholesome recipes with a great taste your cat will instinctively love. And both dry and wet recipes are available where you currently shop for your groceries. Check it out. Also, be sure to check out these other videos over here, subscribe, and I'll see you here in Mammals later. Thanks again to Rachel Ray Nutrish for sponsoring this episode.